you've made some sales, you've brought in some new people, and now you want to get your pay. Well, we use a company called PayQuicker. Let me show you how to set it up. And it's really a great tool because they will transfer the money directly to an outside account where you can either put the money onto a, a card. It's like a debit card with a, a logo on it, or you can transfer it to your bank. So it makes life so easy. In your back office, you're going to go to commissions and you're going to go to bank account details. Now, a lot of times before I even do that, I want to see how much money I have in my account, but let's go ahead and get it set up first and then we'll take a look at that. So here we are, we're in the bank account details. Do you see this little green circle with the plus sign? You're going to click that and you're going to select pay quicker. You're going to click I agree to the terms right here and then save, okay? And that's going to automatically set it up. Now, when you get an email, uh, from pay quicker. What I recommend doing, which makes life so much easier, is to go into your email and search for pay quicker, P-A-Y-C-U-I-K-E-R, um, because it might say that it's coming from APL Go, and that could be a little bit confusing. But if you look for pay quicker, you'll find it. They do have an 800 number. Uh, their hours are East Coast time. They're very helpful, really helpful. So if you have any trouble there, they can give you a hand. But let me show you what exactly is going to happen once you set everything up, okay? So we're going to go back to your back office again. To see how much money you have in your back office, you're going to go to balance and history. The money doesn't automatically move from your back office to your account. You have to do that. And what's wonderful is that we can see our current balance, what we have available, and what is in reserve. So let's take a look at that. Current balance is everything all the transactions, because we are paid daily. But things won't necessarily always be available immediately because credit card transactions aren't instantaneous. They do take a little bit of time. So we have to wait for things to be transferred. And I love this third option. This is reserve. Now, what's cool about reserved is, let's say you wanted to keep some money back in your back office and you didn't want to spend any more either so that you had something off to the side or um, maybe you're going to use that toward your auto ship or your regular monthly orders. Whatever you'd like to do, you can reserve that money. But what's great about things is you can see exactly what you've earned, all of your transfers, all of your operations, all of your activities are going to show up here. When you do have money to transfer, right here in this area, you're going to see a place where it says transfer your money. Um, so that you can actually send it over to pay quicker. Once you do that, it's really pretty quick. If you don't see your money in your pay quicker account immediately, and I mean immediately, you're going to want to send a message directly to customer service about that because that money moves just like that. I have noticed that with my personal bank, it does take a couple of days for the money to go from pay quicker to my bank. That's on my bank's end. It's actually not on pay quicker's end. And I sometimes will transfer some money over to my bank and then keep some of the money back on my card. And the credit card is so pretty. It uses the APL Go logo and colors. It's wonderful to be able to use that and pay somewhere because it really brings up the conversation of your company. So that's really terrific. So setting it up is so easy. Again, there's an 800 number you will receive an email once you do the setup so that's really great um, and we're using pay quicker in the united states so thanks guys and i'll see you on the next one